There might be a time in a photography enthusiast's life where they want to go from just being an enthusiast to an enthusiast who gets paid for what they do. Well, there are a lot of things to consider, but one of the things you have to do first is to get a portfolio. Well, one of the problems is figuring out how to create your website. There are some easy ways to do this. A long, long time ago, well, just over a year ago, we made a 50 Shades of Pink Enter website for April Fools. We used a platform called Squarespace because even idiots like us could use the interface. It took us several days to make that website. And as it turned out, Squarespace quite liked what we did and they got in touch with us and set us a challenge. They challenged us to build a website in 24 hours. Only 24 hours? But I'm not sure why, maybe because to show off how easy it is. And it's, now it's almost like pro website builder and cheap photographers. Uh, we weren't sure if we can do it, especially I'm in Hong Kong here and then Kai in UK. So it's a lot of front and back. But then we came to the realisation that we can do it because when I go to sleep, Locke can be working on a website and then when Locke has to go to sleep, I can finish up on the website. It's kind of like a 24-hour Le Mans, but with website building. The idea is that we have to make a portfolio for someone else, not us. So we decided to make a portfolio for the bloody producer. This is like a shit episode of 24 with Jack Bauer replaced by Locke, me and the curly-haired one. Alrighty then, let's check this interface out and get started. Standard template. Yeah, your site title. Our story, we met in college. Oh, that's cute. Best friend. Oh, oh there's nice pictures there. Oh, he proposed. And then uh, she said yes. Oh, I think they're missing a bit there. Kind of went from best friends to he proposed. Missed a bit where he knocked her up. Okay, let's get rid of all of this. Bye bye. Bosh. Boom. Gone. Hmm, right. So, how do you get started? Well, here's a tip first different location. You could try looking at your favourite photographer's websites and perhaps borrowing some elements from their websites. Or just copying their website blatantly. Although it probably helps if you don't pick just one favourite photographer because then it makes it too obvious who you're copying. And of course we don't have one favourite in particular, we like all photographers. Yeah, whoops, okay. Now as you're getting started, think about how many pages you want for your website. A basic one can have three or four. About, contact, photos and blog. But before you start a blog, think about what you're going to do with it, what you're going to write on it. Make it relevant. Don't just put selfies of yourself because nobody really wants to look at selfies of yourself. Great. Okay, there's our four pages. Now when I pass the baton on to Locke, when I go to sleep, he can do the graphics because that's his forte or whatever. And then we can start building the website with photos and wording. But do think about who your audience is going to be and how you want to represent yourself. Don't just put loads of photos that you quite like. You have to specialise in something. Don't just be a general photographer of general stuff. It's almost the end of the day for me. Too many tips, too little action. So I make haste and put up the four categories. Easy. Locke will be really impressed with my progress. Let's make him do some work. He left me some messages. Oh, basically, he just set up the website, the most basic structure, and asked me to do some graphic. Some graphic. What kind of graphic? Oh, this is what he had done. Which it's all blank page. Okay, I think this is what he means. The graphic I, he want me to do. Maybe this one. And oh, this one, contact. Oh, basically, that's it. Actually, I have an idea to make a logo for Bloody Producer. Even after this project, maybe he can use it for his uh, Twitter, Instagram, right, about page. It should be something really unique for Bloody Producer. 
other than his hair, got an idea? Just check out his Instagram. This is all about the bloody producer. At least we think that's the bloody producer. He never actually works in the office. He's usually eating truffles or buying new wigs. Actually, how do I steal an Instagram photo? Uh, I hope bloody producer won't sue me by of using his photo. Wow, that's a lot of work. Locke wouldn't be a good thief. He takes ages just to steal an image from Instagram. Ah, I'm very good at stealing Instagram photo now. But people don't do this without permission. I didn't ask him for permission, but it's, I'm doing uh, video for him. So using his photo to do work for him, that's totally fine. And he's a really reasonable person, so he will understand. Upload this one. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, that's not bad, isn't it? While Locke was waiting for me to wake up, he got to work on the logo. Then it's morning in the UK. I call up Locke to see what he's done while having my breakfast. Back to this Lemon kind of website building stuff and I haven't did much. Well, I actually, I spent a lot of time to develop the logo. You know, it takes time to research and think. Yeah. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let I, just... I bet it's a picture of some curly hair and glasses. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that's two to choose from. The one on the left looks like he's got shampoo. Um, <laughs> it's like a shampoo. Ah, oh, oh, it's a tough one. I think the one on the right. I actually make the left one first, and then I ask Rita to take a look, and then she suggests uh, another way to make it. So I, I su she suggests to make it into one big bit, it's just like iCow <laughs> logo, and then uh, make this. <laughs> Need a big nose as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, maybe not. That's easy. <laughs> this is like the bit in Le Mans where both drivers drive at the same time. Well, hang on. I don't think they do that, do they? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> the final logo we go for. An iCloud with short-sightedness. As this is how to build a portfolio, we've got to create a portfolio with photos. Oh yeah. Almost forgot that. Uh... But the trouble is, I don't actually know what bloody producer photo... I haven't actually seen them take a photo. No. Oh. Strange, isn't it? Never but see him use a, use his Leica before. Yeah, and that's funny because it's always in his hand. Yeah, it's almost like an accessory. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like it's, it's super glued to his hand. It's either that or his phone. So, so, so we use your your photos that you no. you took in doing our video. Definitely shooting. not. Stop mm. photos. It's a vast Stop collection photos. online. It's it's just like yeah. a library. I mean, you you have a library. You have loads of photos to choose from. I mean, assuming if you're building portfolio, you should be having a load of photos anyway. So there's loads of photos on stock photos to choose from. Yeah, and we're we're making this as an example, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's yeah. Not actually, his photos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. But the danger with this is that, well, not just stock photos, but imagining if it's your own library, your own collection of photos, is that with all these photos, yeah. there's bound to be a lot of things, there's bound to be a lot of photos which you think are good, but you have to really condense, it has to be like a, like a really kind of, it's like a, cons is it consomme? Those soups that are really kind of condensed? You have to consider when uh, people look at your website, it have to be some, oh, this is nice, and that, oh, that is nice as well. And you have to make people like finish watching your photos, like, oh, this is nice collection of photos, rather than like, what, well, there's a lot yeah. of unrelated uh, so, what, what am I looking selfie. At? Uh, cats, like dogs. Ra random stuff. Totally random. Like, yeah. what product producers should <clears throat> specialize at? Well, landscape could be a good choice because there's loads of them on stock photo website. 
Uh, yeah. About cat photos. He's a he's a he's a cat photographer. There's a lot of there should, must be a lot of cat photos on stock photo website. That's true, and you don't see many pet photographers about. Well, one thing I learned from maybe Saint Elvis or David Copy, I forgot. Sorry if I make make a mistake. Cause I you should remember to look that where you are based in. It sounds too obvious, of course, but there are a lot of photographers' website that they didn't note that where are they and where their service is covered. Okay, so decided. Now you can finish the website and I go to sleep. Bye. What do you mean? <laughs> what? What? Fine. Enjoy your sleep. Whatever. 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 Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, as Locke's pissed off somewhere, I've gone and found some pictures to put in the portfolio because he hasn't done that. So here we are. As we were saying earlier, you have to condense everything so it's only the top quality stuff in your portfolio. Now this can be difficult, especially if you've got loads of photos throughout the years to try and figure out which ones were the good ones, which ones were the bad ones. I do this by putting it through Aperture, rest in peace, and giving it a rating. It's got a star system, five stars for a good one, which you will put in your portfolio, and then four, three, two, one. And you can keep reviewing it and change that if needed. And then finally, you just pick those photos and put it in your portfolio. Bang, done. It does help to be overly critical of your own work. Five stars, great photo, well done you. Actually, I think that photo's shit. I mean, this photo, for instance, is completely shit for a number of reasons. And then, oh, blimey, what's that doing in there? This is the really time consuming part, but you can't cut corners with this part. Even when you think your photos are decided, take a break and look at them again. You might end up disliking photos that you liked earlier. Then start compiling the photos on your site. Play with the layouts to think about which one will look best and get a preview of what it looks like rather than just looking at the back end. It's never fun looking at back ends all day. And then when you're finished, you can use the portfolio app to show off all your work to your clients or annoy your friends and family with it. And across the line. Bosh. Boom. There you go. Aren't I sad for celebrating alone? Mm, mm, mm. Check out the bloody producer's portfolio website here. It's real. Unlike his hair. One more thing. Digital Web TV has got a special discount for anyone wanting to set up a portfolio of Squarespace. Simply click the link to get a 10% discount.